custom fields are a great way to add extra information to your records and help you to analyze them in Sage 50 Cloud accounts. Let's have a look at how they work. Let's start by looking at the areas where you have custom fields available. And we're going to start with customers. So if we select a customer, open the record, and then click the defaults tab. The custom fields are in the top left hand corner by default. They are called Analysis 1, 2 and 3. However, these can be renamed and we'll have a look at this later on in the video. Now custom fields can be used really for whatever purpose you want, for recording whatever information you want. Is it just extra information that you want to enter against the customer record? Or are you want to enter some information so that you can analyze your records? For instance, in Analysis 1, we might record the customer type. Are they a trade customer? Are they a retail customer? So really it's for whatever use you can find. Let's have a look at some of the other areas where you've got analysis fields available. We'll close the customer record, open suppliers, select a record, and then just like with customers, you'll find the custom fields within the defaults tab. Once again, you've got the three custom fields in the top left corner. Let's continue with our quick tour. So we'll close out of the supplier record and then into products and services. If we open a product record, and this time we need to access the web tab. The custom fields this time are on the bottom left hand corner. If we close out of the product record and then access projects and open one of our projects. Within the project record we need to click the analysis tab. This time the custom fields are within the analysis types area. Now rather than being called analysis 1, 2 and 3 you can see we've actually already renamed them in this case to manager, type and complete. Let's close out of the project record and we're now going to access the most recent area where the custom fields have been made available. So we're going to go to, into invoices and credits, open an invoice and then on the order tab you've then got the custom fields in the lower left. It's quite common in invoicing to use these for things like marketing questions for instance. You may record or ask the customer where did you hear about us and record that in one of the fields that you have available. Let's close out of the invoice and the final areas to look at are sales orders and when we access an order click the order tab you've got the custom fields available. You also have these available in purchase orders again we'll open an order click the order tab and they're in the same location as for invoices and sales orders. Okay so we've now seen all of the areas where the custom fields are available and we're now going to look at how you rename some of those custom fields. So if you've thought of a use and to help with consistency you can change the title. So rather than just being called analysis 1, 2 and 3 we're going to change the titles of some of those fields. So we do that by going into Settings, Configuration, just click Yes to close the other windows that we have open, and then we'll click the Custom Fields tab. On this tab we'll find the areas for customer records, quotations, sales orders, invoices, supplier records, purchase orders, and also if you want to use the departments for something else you could rename the title for that field as well. If we click the products tab, you then have access to the titles for the product custom fields. If you click the project costing tab, you have access to the project custom fields. Let's go back to the custom fields tab itself and we'll rename one of the customer fields. So we're going to change the title for analysis one. And we're going to call this one cost type. So we're going to use this field within the customer records for indicating whether the customer is trade or retail. We'll just change the one field, 
We'll then click Apply and then click Close and that's us back to the Accounts Desktop. If we now go into Customers and access the same record that we looked at earlier, open the Defaults tab and we'll see that in the Custom fields the first field is now called Cust Type. So let's enter Trade and we'll save the record and close back to the customer list. Now at that stage you might not want to do anything else, you might just want to record that little bit of information against the customer. However, you can apply a filter so that you can then report on your filtered customer list. So for instance if we wanted to bring up a list of trade customers only, if we go into Filter and we'll quickly build a filter to apply to our customers list. So in the Join column we'll choose Where and then we need to choose the appropriate field. And if we scroll down the list you'll see that Analysis 2 and 3 are listed but Analysis 1 isn't and that's because we've renamed it to Cust Type. So we just need to scroll further down the list As you can see there's loads of fields to choose from but we want to choose customer type so we'll select it and then continue to build the rest of the filter so in the condition field we'll choose is equal to and then in the value column we'll type trade now you can continue and enter additional conditions in the filter however we're just going to leave it set to the one line so we click Apply, click Close, we're then back to the customer list and it's now filtered. So at the top it tells us 25 out of our 82 customer records that we have available within Sage Accounts meet the conditions set up in that filter. So 25 of these records must have trade entered in that Analysis 1 field. Now you can switch your filter on and off at any time, you can also go in to amend the filter. To switch your filter on and off you just click the first little icon at the top. You can toggle the filter on and off at that point. And if you need to amend your filter or remove it completely, you just go back into the filter area and you can amend it at that point. Let's just double check that one of the customer records there does have trade in that field. So we'll just go into one of the customer records into the defaults tab and as you can see in the cust type field it says the word trade. That brings us to the end of this video and I hope you found it useful. If you need any more information about using custom fields or applying filters within your software then please access the information which is available via our help centre.